Well, how's it going, YouTube? Today I'm going to be looking at two beers from Brauerei Van Steenberg out in Belgium. Today's beers are, of course, Guldendrak Original and Guldendrak 9000. Going to be doing a comparison, see how they differ. Uh, yeah, two beers I've had quite a few times, really enjoy them. So, uh, both are Belgian strong dark ales and 10.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, both are right around half a year old, so yeah, got a little bit of age on them. So, excited to get these cracked, poured, and see how they are. Got the Guldendrak original poured, and yeah, it's looking absolutely awesome. Big tan living, fluffy, pillowy whitehead. It looks absolutely awesome. Compact, yet super bubbly. Uh, huge bubbles popping up here and there. Uh, deep ruby color to this one. Yeah, really nice looking color. Slightly hazy. Tons of carbonation. Let's get an aroma. Oh, big dark fruit. Even with all that head on the beer, you're getting just this huge dark fruit aroma. Dates, figs, plums, some lighter fruit as well, some berry notes, and maybe a hint of uh, roasted malt in the background as well. Smells really, really nice. Cheers, everybody. All right, mouthfeel, lighter side of medium, lots of carbonation, goes down so crisp and smooth, a hint of alcohol, a hint of booziness, like a, a spiced rum almost, that kind of boozy, spicy character. Every time I drink this beer, I think like slightly overripe blueberries. That's the main thing I get in this one. I'm getting, of course, tons of dates and figs and prunes, stuff like that. Big nutty character as well. I'm getting like an almond almost, or sorry, walnut, something like that. That earthy, beautiful character. Yeah, super carbonated. Really nice beer. 10.5% alcohol. Extremely easy to drink. You. I could drink quite a few of these bottles, I think, and regret it the day after, but you know what? It's a beautiful, beautiful beer. Ah, yeah, awesome. Let's move on to the 9000. Got the Gundrak 9000 poured, and yeah, it's looking a lot lighter. Uh, tons more car carbonation, though. Uh, yeah, slightly hazy orange color to this one. Two or three fingers of an off-white head on it. Looks similar, except uh, lighter. Everything's lighter, you know? Yeah. Except the alcohol legs. Just as much alcohol legs, and can't say no to that, right? Alright, let's get an aroma. A lot more stone fruit. Like, light stone fruit. Where this one was dark fruit, this one showcases more of like a peach, plum, uh, apricot, stuff like that. Really beautiful smelling beer as well. Cheers. The mouthfeel, just like the original, nice dry finish, nice crispness, lots of carbonation. Yet the sticky density to it. Loads of carbonation, yeah. Um, bit of alcohol, just to let you know it's a 10% beer, 10.5%, uh, but yeah, two really, really beautiful beers. Yeah, as a rating on the Guldendrak Original and Guldendrak 9000, two amazing beers. Uh, this one's a little darker, this one's a little lighter. They still both have that uh, Belgian dark ale feel to them. And I really like that. Anyone who watches my channel channel knows that I have just a bias towards dark beers. I absolutely love them. Darker the better. That being said, 
I think they're equally as good. They're both amazingly brewed beers, amazingly balanced, uh, just really, really good stuff. Uh, as ratings, I think I'm going to have to go 93 on both the original and the 9000. I think they're both great beers. Um, of course, I do have an affinity for darker stuff, so I would buy the original more. But uh, yeah, two awesome beers. Um, yeah, amazing prices too. Uh, super accessible, uh, very widely uh, distributed. So um, yeah, easy beers to get behind. And if you're trying to get someone into a better kind of beer, pick up these, show them it, great stuff. Thanks everybody for watching. Let me know what y'all think of Guldendrak and Guldendrak 9000. Thanks for watching again. Cheers.